Firefighters tackling flames this fire season can look to the skies for assistance. Three massive helicopters have traded army tanks for water. They used to fly for the U.S. Army. Now they're fighting a different war. Together, they form the Quick Reaction Force. It's a 24-7 task force designed to battle wildfires both day and night. These helitankers on the QRF do an outstanding job of putting down fire retardant at night with the help of that S-76 intelligence platform that's flying above them. That eye in the sky is one of four helicopters funded by Southern California Edison, each tasked with making the difference between life and death. Each of these helicopters are capable of dropping 3,000 gallons of water or retardant day or night by themselves. When all three combine, they continually drop 3,000 gallons by 3,000 gallons by 3,000 gallons, followed in unison, creating a true synergy in our firefighting effort. They're successful on the fire lines, transporting more than 1 million gallons of water in the past seven months. But that could all come to an end if officials don't put out a different fire, a cash flow problem. While we're really grateful for SoCal Edison's leadership for the investment that SoCal Edison has had, we also recognize that in the interest of the public, we do need to transition some of that investment and supplement that investment with resources from the, the county and state level. The QRF has cost the power company more than $100 million, but fire officials say the tool is critical to saving lives and property. I think the program now has proven itself enough that where both state and local government sh could be and perhaps should be considering how to offset those costs uh, that, that Southern California Edison has been encumbered for the last you know, four years. Reporting in Santa Clarita, I'm Lauren Hanna.